Today I'm breaking down the following. YouTube Shorts and why I stopped baking them. Comparison of July versus August analytics in the YouTube studio because numbers teach me something. And decision I made moving forward, an upload schedule and what's happening to these analytic videos going forward. Stay tuned to find out what's next and why. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, YouTube Shorts. Back in March, I decided to start an experiment and began uploading shorts. I figured I should stick with uploading at least once a week, even though I knew daily would be preferred. I was excited to experiment with a new format and reach a wider audience. Naively, I figured that more eyes on my channel would bring more subscribers, more engagement and more watch hours. I used ChatGPT to get a bunch of short ideas and scripts lined up to make it easier on myself. I figured why reinvent the wheel if it can be a little bit easier. Being a single mom with kids with special needs, time can be a luxury. I did see a difference in the amount of views on my shorts versus my long form content. Initially, I was happy to see higher numbers and some new subscribers gained from my short uploading efforts. My watch hours went up and I was getting excited about moving closer towards monetization, but I forgot about one very important thing. YouTube Shorts watch time does not count towards monetization. So I put some blood, sweat and tears into creating these videos with very little in return. I have also learned that YouTube Shorts audience and long form video audience are two complete different things. Who do I want to attract? Who do I want to serve with my videos? Why am I even on YouTube? My goal is to help other artists create art pieces with confidence and new learned skills that they hadn't tried before. To create a community that supports one another and encourages each other. My passion is not in creating short little videos, trying to cram as much as you can into a small time frame. Am I saying that shorts are bad? No. Will I not ever upload a short? No. Here are reasons you might see me uploading a short. Number one. There's an urgent message that needs to be posted in a timely manner and can't wait for my weekly upload to be posted. Number two, I feel creative and passionate and want to just do something quick because I have the time and I can. Number three, it's a special day and I felt motivated to create something around that, like my birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, etc. All in all, I want to do what I'm passionate about, what gets me excited the moment I wake up in the morning. I don't want to push myself into a space in which I don't fit to please someone who might never appreciate my long form videos. I want to paint, share my tips, encourage others, inspire and create a positive environment and community. So I'm making long form videos and content that is meaningful, real and true to myself. So I guess my message to you is don't let the noise of social media dictate your artistic vision. Stay true to yourself and the rest will follow. So what do you guys think? Have you struggled with the pressure to create shorts or do you think they're an essential part of growing an art channel? Let me know in the comments below and let's move on to the analytics part of this video. All right, here we are in my YouTube studio, the channel analytics, and I have put one on July right here, July, and the other one is August and we're going to compare the two so you're going to notice straight away that there's going to be a decline in numbers that's just because i stopped posting shorts so let's check out july people watch my videos 2416 times in august that was 1881 2.4k views in july 1.9k views in august so there's a little decline there and then here is 25 percent uh, watch hours and 20 not percent I'm, my apologies 25 watch hours or watch time versus 20 over here and when we go to subscribers plus 10 here plus 11 there and i must say lately i have been seeing a little bit of an increase in subscribers so i this is obviously just for august but as september has already started well, as I film this, it's already September, and as, when this goes uh, onto my channel, it'll also be a little further into September. It seems that my subscribers are on the move, on the rise. I'm happy about that. All right, so I just wanted to let you know, right now I'm sitting at 762, 
it'll be the same on both sides because this is like real time what is going on right now you can see in the last 48 hours all these views coming in so that's great anyway so as you can see this is for july this is for august this is the general overview we're gonna go down top content in this period we're gonna go down here as well obviously you'll still see shorts up there because they uh, bring in the most views that's why they're in the top um, but you're going to see a slight difference here. So the first six here are all shorts. And then the last four are videos. Here's the first three. And then look at this. Long form videos all the way down from four to ten. Which is great. Because my goal is to have more long form video viewers. That's what I want to focus on. That's what I want to do. So that's great. So we're going to go to content. Both months. July. New viewers. From shorts. I got 2.2k new viewers here, 1.6k. I expected that to go down, as you said, as I said, because I've stopped uploading the shorts. Um, 85 new viewers from videos, 165. They are going up. I am excited about that. Returning viewers, so those that are loyal and that keep coming back, yay! Thank you, by the way, if that's you. Very much appreciate it. Here was 1815 compared to August 13, 15. So videos exactly the same, shorts less. Again, I stopped doing shorts. Subscribers, shorts versus videos in July, four, six, and one, nine. You see the jump here that my regular videos are actually starting to pick up subscribers. As you can see, my long form videos are picking up in numbers, so that's good. All right, so here we're gonna go back down here. It says views. 2.3k versus 1.6 as you saw in the overview already and so that's gone down this has gone up 155 views on my videos in july but 248 in in august so yes i am excited this live stream one here that was a total fluke i happened to click a button by accident i think i was trying to upload a video to my youtube studio and i happened to click on go live and i think i did go live for like two seconds but obviously youtube did record that <laughs> yeah moving on published content so i published six shorts in july versus three in august two regular videos in july versus three in august so that might also be why there's an increase in views and everything else so there you go let's go back here impressions and how they lead to watch time so there's that funnel let me move over here so 8.6k impressions 14.5k see we're going up we're doing good something is good here okay so 1.7 click-through rate 1.4 it's actually normal for the click-through rate to go down as youtube suggests these videos to people so if your impressions are up so in this case there is like you know six thousand more impressions um it's kind of normal for the click rate to go down because now youtube is showing it to more people hoping to get more people to click on it but obviously if they don't that click-through rate will go down a little bit Views from impressions, 146 versus 207. So again, that is great. It's going up. Watch time, 9.24 and 9.62. That's about the same. Average view duration was better in July, 3 minutes, 47 seconds. And here's 2 minutes, 47 seconds, exactly a minute difference. And that's okay as well, because not having the shorts, you know, when people watch that and all the way through, it all counts. It counts as watch time, but it doesn't count for monetization. As I mentioned in my little shorts spiel before this section of the video, YouTube shorts watch time does not count for monetization. So if you, by the way, I will show you at the end of my comparison where you can find exactly how many public watch hours you have uh, gained and you know what is counting towards monetization if you're still on that journey which most of us are i have a suspicion that a lot of youtube creators on the platform are not monetized so i will show you that near the end so stay tuned for that and then we're going to go viewers across formats go up a little bit Ta -da. so i've had people watching both expect changes in this little area here when I do another update and more about that also later towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, um, a schedule an outline, a posting schedule idea for these videos moving forward. 
Okay, so how views viewers find me? Well, obviously the shorts feed, just because that's where a lot of the views came from. Expecting this to change as well. It's already going down 78 versus 84. YouTube search has gone up by 0.3%. Uh, browse features has gone up quite a bit. And I've noticed that as well in looking at individual videos. I've seen that a lot of people find me through browsing, which is really cool to see. They're just browsing their homepage, you know, and they see my video pop up and they click on it. So the algorithm is working for me or YouTube is just putting my videos in front of the right audience. That's really what it is. So there you go. So there is that because the shorts feed has gone down, it, everything else has kind of gone up. So that's it for the overall content overview. I am not going to go into the shorts because I've already talked enough about shorts. There's no need to go look at the shorts. The shorts is kind of end of story right now. So we're going to go to videos for July and videos for August. Let's compare that. And there we'll see a little increase and I'm quite happy. So, okay, everything here was down, right? And kind of similar. So 155 views in July, 248 right now here in August. I mean, 248 for the month of August, 60% more. I am really stoked about that. Moving into the right direction here. 5.3K impressions, look at this, 10K impressions, 89% more. YouTube is starting to push my videos to different people, trying to find my audience, yay! Impression click-through rate and average view duration though, I think we have gone down there, yes we have. Now that makes sense again, because if it's starting to push more videos to more people, the click-through rate does go down. So I'm not too worried about that, I'm pretty sure that it eventually will pick up again. I'm fine. I do get what I am looking for is views, right? Right here, the views. And this is important for me as well, the average view duration, because I'm still trying to get monetized. So I really want that, that time to go up and it has gone down. So there might be some work that I need to do in order to keep people interested, keep people watching. It's called the retention rate. So there we go. But that um, that is exciting to see these go up, these numbers. Now I did, as you can see, there's three videos because I posted this one right at the beginning of August. So it accounts for August. So therefore it's three videos versus two here. And I can tell you already that that number is going to go up as well from, you know, three videos a month to four videos a month. That's the plan. That's the plan, people. It's my goal. We're going to go for it. All right. Audience retention. So far, again, the fellow artists stop believing these lies. That one has grabbed everybody's attention the most. It's a very engaging video. I find if you haven't seen it, go check it out and let me know what you think of it. Next up, how viewers find my videos. There is a switch here. Suggested videos here at the top. Now we have browse features at the top and I am um, not mad about that. These are all great ways to be found. And then YouTube search has gone down 1%. Um, so I might need to do a bit of a better job to see what people are looking for and make content for that. And at the same time, I've mentioned this a few times. I want to do what I love. I don't want to just be a robot to create for, you know, some unknown person on the other side. There are a few people that, a few subscribers that talk to me in the comments that and converse with me over things in the comments. I really enjoy that. But yeah, if, if it's just a random person that I do not know that hasn't talked to me in the comments or asked me questions or, you know, threw out a request there for like making a certain video, I want to do what I love. I want to stay true to myself, right? And yes, answer specific questions for your audience. Absolutely important if you really want to get a lot of engagement and grow faster. I want to try to find the balance. Okay. Do what I love help other people be happy all over the place, right? So there we go. Then we're gonna go over to the top videos here. Interestingly enough, um, the numbers are a lot higher for the top one, like becoming a pro in acrylic painting, perfecting dog fur technique. This painting, or this painting, 
this video took off a little bit on me, which is lovely. It's not going viral at all. I mean, I have 762 subscribers as of right now, and I don't even get that amount of views on videos. But the previous video, this one, painting for a struggle, you know, like when I was doing the ear, that one caught maybe 49 views in total. Yeah, 49. See, 36 plus 13 would equal 49. But this one now is sitting here. It's sitting at 120. If I look at my um, analytics, current analytics, it's sitting at 124. So that video actually got two and a half times the amount of views. So I'm really excited about that. That to me tells me I'm doing something right. So I'm happy about that. So the reason that this video, How to Paint a Cat, um, performed well in July is because I did post a short about our Molly passing and linked it to this long form video right here. And you don't see it in this list at all. So I think it just kind of gave it a little bit of a boost and then it kind of died down. So again, though, the Fantasy Forest painting is still every single month that I've done this. I have seen this one in the top videos. So it's tapering off a little bit right here, 13 versus 20, but I haven't done anything, you know, I haven't changed the title, I haven't changed the thumbnail, I haven't pushed this video at all. It's just happening. So that's all I wanted to check out right now and for today is the videos comparing month by month. So now we're going to go to audience, returning viewers, 24, returning viewers, 22. Okay, so, okay, two, two less. Uh, unique viewers, so people that have never been to my channel, seen my stuff for the first time, 2.3 versus 1.8. I expected uh, this to go down because I'm not posting shorts anymore. So we'll see how this turns out the next time. Not much I can say about it. It's just I stopped posting shorts, so less fresh eyes on my content. Subscribers, plus 10. It was like, oh, it's gone down, and now we are at plus 11. Oh, it's up by 10%. It is a small percentage, but it is still a percentage and I still get a green arrow. So I'm very excited and happy about that. So, and we're pretty consistent across the board, which is really cool. Okay, let's go to watch time from subscribers. This is also a number that I'm happy to see going down. Not subscribed 92.3% on the last month, on July, sorry. And then not subscribed in August, 88.6. So there is a change. Yay. So it's slowly changing. I'm happy. That's great. That's wonderful. Age and gender, uh, female, male. There is a bit of a switch here. 49.3, now it's 60.5. This was 50.7, now it's 39.5. I, like I said, I don't really care whether you're, you know, male, female, or a unicorn. You know, anybody can come and watch. It's just an interesting statistic, that's all. And then age group. Okay, let's go up a little more. There we go age group so I mean pretty much the same yeah not I don't have a whole lot to say about that I mean my target is I would say like 30 plus but even if you're 20 plus like I don't care like if you find value in my videos thank you and you're so welcome to come and stick around like it's not if you're less than a certain age that you can't come anybody can come I mean even a 10 year old go watch my stuff it's all great top geographies that I find out funny to watch so canada us united kingdom last month australia philippines this month we've got india in that mix australia still here philippines too so i guess the uk got swapped out for <laughs> india that is it for this particular part of the video i uh, i was expecting numbers to go down and other numbers to go up and that's where we stand today so let's go and check out where you find your watch hours a lot of people know this already so where do you find where where you're at as far as monetization is concerned okay well you go down here and then go to earn click on it and then when you go down here it says eligibility this is data as of august 28th funny enough today is september 2nd so it's a bit late it's a bit behind Although this is accurate, I have 762 subscribers and then 83 public watch hours. Okay. That's the public watch hours that I have currently counting towards the goal of 4,000. It looks so far away, doesn't it? But that's okay because I celebrate every single hour that gets added to it. You know, a week ago I was sitting at 81. 
Now I'm sitting at 83. So we're moving up there. It's not going backwards, it's going forward. So that's great. So that's that. Future videos and upload schedule. I have noticed that these type of analytic videos are not really resonating with my audience. If you found value in them, I'm super grateful and do shoot me a comment about what you've learned. However, I don't want to bore or confuse my audience. Ultimately, my channel is about art, about painting, and not about YouTube shorts and analytics. But I'm not ditching them completely. Just because I do have a hunch that there are some creators who do learn something from these videos and also because I like to compare and check it out for myself. I'll continue uploading these videos on a quarterly basis, so four times a year. That way, those that are interested will still get a breakdown of what's happening with my channel and hopefully learn something that they can apply to their own channels. Well, what does this look like going forward? I will upload on or around the first of the following months. January, which will give you a year overview of the previous year. April, July, and September. If these prove to be a waste of time, I might ditch those as well, but time will tell. For my art-related content, I will aim to upload every Friday starting this month, as the kids are back in school and I attempt to organize and manage my time sufficiently. Whether you come here for YouTube content or my art videos, and I really hope it's the latter, and you find value in these videos, consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell. And because I like hanging out with you, go ahead and click on some of my other art videos for more creativity and inspiration. Stay happy, keep your peace, and God bless you.